This video is going to give you some important information about the chi-squared distribution. The chi-squared distribution is a non-symmetric continuous probability distribution that's used to perform inference on a population variance. Notice that this is going to differ from the other two distributions we've focused on, the standard normal and the t-distribution, because it's non-symmetric. Values of the chi-squared distribution are denoted by the Greek letter chi squared with an n minus 1 in the subscript. The n minus 1, just like the t-distribution, stands for the number of degrees of freedom. Before we take a look at a picture of the chi-squared distribution, I want to give you a few facts about it. The chi-squared distribution is right-skewed and unimodal. It has a single parameter for the degrees of freedom, just like the t-distribution. Also like the t-distribution, the chi-squared distribution changes shape based on the degrees of freedom. The values of the chi-squared distribution go from zero to positive infinity. Notice that this is different from the standard normal and the t-distributions, because the values of those two could be negative. The values of the chi-squared distribution can never be negative. And finally, the chi-squared distribution has its peak moved to the right as the degrees of freedom increase. Here are a couple examples of what the chi-squared distribution looks like. The purple distribution is a chi-squared distribution with one degree of freedom. Just like the t-distribution, this is the fewest number of degrees of freedom that you can have. Most of the area is concentrated very close to zero. The green curve is a chi-squared distribution with four degrees of freedom. The peak gets moved a little bit farther to the right, and it's a little bit lower. Most of the area for this curve is concentrated right around 4. The next curve is the red one. That's a chi-squared distribution with 9 degrees of freedom. Again, you notice that the peak gets moved farther to the right, and the peak is also much lower than the chi-squared distribution with 4 degrees of freedom. And the final one is a chi-squared distribution with 15 degrees of freedom. Again, the peak gets moved to the right, and the peak is a little bit lower. Here's a first glance at the chi-squared distribution. You're going to notice a lot of similarities between this and the t-distribution. Just like the t-distribution, the values inside the table correspond to chi-squared statistics. However, unlike the t-table, the values inside the table continue to increase as we increase the number of degrees of freedom. The values in the first column, just like the t-distribution, give the number of degrees of freedom that you have. And the numbers in the top row give the area in the upper tail of the distribution. Notice that this is much different from the t-distribution. The t-distribution was symmetric, so we could just negate values from the table to get the lower percentiles. In the chi-squared distribution, we need a set of columns for the upper percentiles, as well as a set of columns for the lower percentiles. However, this table is very counterintuitive. Since the table gives areas in the upper tail of the distribution above the value that you look up, the first percentile corresponds to the column labeled 0.99 because there's 99% of the area above the first percentile. On the other hand, the 99th percentile corresponds to the column labeled 0.01 because there's 1% of the area above the 99th percentile. Again, this is all because the numbers in the top row give the area in the upper tail of the distribution. So suppose we wanted to find the 10th percentile of a chi-squared distribution with 8 degrees of freedom. Just like the t-distribution, what we would do is find the row with 8 degrees of freedom, find the column with 90% of the area in the upper tail, and intersect the row and the column. Here's the row with 8 degrees of freedom, and here's the column with 90% of the area in the upper tail. Again, this 0.9 is going to correspond to the 10th percentile. They intersect at 3.490. What this tells us is that the 10th percentile of a chi-squared distribution with 8 degrees of freedom is 3.490.